Hello and thank you, Adam, very much. I'm Ben. Hello, hello. Uh, and um, uh, I'm going to do some songs. I'm not a singer, just I should give you that as a prelude, but it's been a really good day so far. So um, I started a band this morning. It's fantastic. <laughs> we wrote three songs and then um, I went and did a rehearsal and ghosted in as a rock star with this incredible band. And then I heard a song that I'd written for this show, sung in a way I could only have imagined. Uh, and then I had a really successful email after that. It's been really good, basically, <laughs> just all day. So let's, you know, you know, the bar is high, but that's fine. If it, you know, let's just hope from now on. Uh, so I'm not a singer, but I'm going to do this song because Adam said, come and do the song. So I'm writing a zombie musical. Um, I, I want a prize. Could I just, uh, just mention this? <laughs> I want a prize. It's really good. I really recommend it. Uh, win a prize. It makes you feel good goes on for like a year. Uh, and so the Styles and Drew mentorship thing, and I've been writing this zombie musical, which is my friend's idea. I had no idea why. Why am I writing a zombie musical? I still don't know, but I'm going to find out. And it's based on a wonderful uh, story, very loosely, called Reanimator. And we're going to sing the title song, which is just like an introduction or sort of overture or sort of advert, if you like, for the show. Uh, and I need some... Can I welcome to the stage the wonderful um, Elle and Charlotte, who are going to sing BVs for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> so this is what we'll sing to the audience as they come in uh, and when they're in for the show. <laughs> Everybody likes dark. Everybody likes cool. Everybody likes a story that gets hideous and gory with a zombie or a ghoul. Oh well, we know you bought your tickets Hoping to be terrified So it's only when you tweet I wish I'd never bought a seat That we'll know you're satisfied Reanimator Evil and shady perpetrator Reanimator Touching up your Sawyer and creator Reanimator Devotee of darkness, I can tell it from your face. Well, if you're looking for a dose of the grizzly and the gross, then you're in the right place. But if you came here with your boyfriend and he told you it was art, and you were hoping for some romance or at least some moving moments, now's the moment to depart. No? Oh well. Reanimator! We got my corpses and a comedy. Right. Messed up a lyric there, but never mind. I'm going to hand it over to the professionals now. Uh, so thank you so much. I was looking for a singer for this second song. This second song is at the end of the first act and um, a hell of a lot has happened. If I were to try and explain it to you now, you would not thank me. Uh, so, but essentially, there are some medical students and they, are, they decided they're going to try and bring dead bodies back to life. And uh, one of them is called Harriet, one of them is called Annie. Annie isn't really a medical student and she's in possession of some very cutting edge nanotechnology. And they reanimate, first of all, a ferret, and then some slightly larger animals. And then it kind of gets a little bit more disturbing. And they reanimate some, some people, but of course they are brain dead. And they only talk about interior decoration. <laughs> and then they realize that you've got to be really fresh. They've got to be really, really fresh. If they're not really, really fresh, they're not going to have much to say. You can see where this is going, can you? So. Uh, essentially, they have to kind of just kind of be alive and then you kill them and then, then you bring them back to life. So um, Annie, after a lot of things, tries this on a couple of people or men suggests it. And it's not happening, so she injects herself with the death syringe. And then she offers to Harriet, with whom a kind of relationship has been developing, the life syringe and says, you have one minute before my brain dies. And she 
In, uh, and then she, uh, Harriet injects her, she comes back to life. I've spoiled the whole show for you, by the way, but this is only the first act. She comes back from the dead, intact, and she's vindicated. Her theories are correct. Everything she's been told she can't do, it, they, were, they, were, they, weren't, they didn't know. So she's kind of full of incredible uh, messianic self-belief, and that's what this song is about. Can you welcome to the stage, Emily? Emily, thank you so much for coming in to sing this song. Because I can't, and I never could. Uh, and this one. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you are much taller than me. Uh, uh, Living, nothing we hold so oh dear. Is our life but fear? Knowing all that we learn is lost. Living with fingers crossed. Someday, someday, who knows? We pray. Maybe they'll find a way. But what if someday is now? Should I? to what they say do things the proper way should I that's what you always said should I disturb the dead should we hold to the things we know Define to finally cross the line. 